In September 2015, global leaders agreed on a new set of global development goals, the Sustainable Development Goals, which set ambitious targets for improving health and ending poverty. On the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly, the Global Health Technologies Coalition asked experts, what innovations have the greatest potential to transform global health? Well, one really wonderful technology that we are working on right now is a vaginal ring that is filled with an antiretroviral medicine that women can use to prevent the transmission of HIV. It's called the depivirine vaginal ring. And it's, it, women take it and they insert it and then leave it in place for a month. And quite honestly, if the ring has shown to be effective, this could be a groundbreaking tool for women. Critical to the global health agenda is diagnostics. We're simply seeing too many kids die because they're being treated for the wrong disease. And we now, with digital tools, have the ability to do better things at point of care where we don't have to have as many people at the site. So from the Population Council point of view, I'm really excited about the work that we're doing on developing multi-purpose prevention technologies. These are technologies that prevent against a range of indications, including unintended pregnancy, including sexually transmitted diseases such as human papillomavirus and herpes simplex virus, and importantly against HIV. And for the Population Council, bringing these technologies together in a single product that can be controlled by the user, by women, and accessible to them in low resource settings where the health infrastructure is not there is critically important and I think has enormous potential to really transform the way that we work on maternal, newborn, child, adolescent health and preventing HIV. There are some great technologies coming out of one of our innovation programs called Saving Lives at Birth. It's a grand challenge. and and those, those innovations focus both on neonatal health and maternal health. For example, chlorhexidine, which is an innovation that we've invested in through Saving Lives at Birth, is a small antiseptic, cost pennies per dose, and you apply it to a baby's umbilical cord, and it can cut the rate of infection by nearly a third. Well, I think one of the things that we've seen over and over again is uh, the, how vaccines could be such game changers. At our Sabin Vaccine Institute, product development partnership together with Texas Children's Hospital, we're making uh, vaccines for hookworm infection and schistosomiasis. We're also making a river blindness uh, vaccine. We're doing a leishmaniasis, a Chagas vaccine, a MERS coronavirus vaccine. And all of those are either in clinical trials or advanced in the clinical trials. And we hope those could be game changers. One I would like to mention is um, point of care tests. The ability to be able to test um, in a community, know what you're working with in terms of what organism or what virus or bacteria it is, and then with that be able to be able to bring in the right treatment and manage the cases appropriately to prevent the spread. We will begin to get results from long-acting injectable antiretrovirals and some of the most promising AIDS vaccine candidates that we've ever seen in the 30-plus year search for an AIDS vaccine, and an entirely new class of prevention and treatment, too, around um, very broadly neutralizing antibodies that could be used um, both for treating and preventing. So this really is a, the, the most exciting time, I think, in, in HIV science. But I would say overall, in terms of what is currently in our portfolio, one of the things that excites us the most is uh, the two potential oral therapies for sleeping sickness that could just be real game changers, genuine scientific breakthroughs for this very, very neglected disease.